Morgan Frost looks like he's back in the lineup for the Philadelphia Flyers game on Saturday against the Chicago Blackhawks. Their three injured defensemen, though, still unclear. And Travis Konechny, a surprise absence today at practice in Voorhees. I'm Charlie O'Connor with PHLY Sports, and these are your Flyers post practice notes. The big news today from practice, it appears to be close to a certainty that Morgan Frost will indeed be back in the lineup after sitting at three games as a healthy scratch. He skated on a line with Joel Farabee and Bobby Brink in practice, was on the second power play unit, and then after practice we talked to John Tortorella and he more or less said Frost is going to be back in the lineup. He said that there might be some issues with injured players with IR that could complicate things, but he is expecting Morgan Frost to be back in the lineup against the Blackhawks. Now, obviously, the John Tortorella Morgan Frost relationship has been complicated for the past few years. Tort scratched him a significant amount of time in both the last two seasons, and then again this year, he scratched him three times. However, Torts did say he's very anxious to see Morgan Frost back in the lineup. He's excited to see how he's going to respond. He liked the way he responded to the scratching last season, said he got pretty good play out of him in the second half of the year after they had their little butting head session. But We'll see how it goes. Now, Frost was a topic of conversation in Elliot Friedman's 32 Thoughts column earlier this week. Friedman theorized that Frost could potentially be a trade fit for these very same Chicago Blackhawks. So obviously some people are going to speculate he's being showcased. Everything I've been hearing from the Flyers implies that they're not itching to trade Morgan Frost, that they still like him, they still want to make this work here, but it just does add another variable to Morgan Frost's return, something to look at if he has a real good game, Maybe Chicago makes an offer, and then you never know. Okay, so Morgan Frost is almost certainly back in. What about the Flyers' three injured puck-moving defensemen, Cam York, Jamie Drysdale, and Emil Andre? Well, John Tortorella wasn't nearly as forthcoming about them, wouldn't really give any clear-cut updates, basically said he's not sure who's going to be in or not. However, based on the rotations and reps in practice, it does seem like two of them, York and and Andre might be closer to a return than Drysdale and could maybe be back in the lineup on Saturday against the Blackhawks. Now, why do I say that? Well, Cam York took quite a few reps alongside Travis Sanheim, obviously the Flyers' number one and top pair defenseman. That was the pair that York was on prior to the injury. As for Andre, Andre spent quite a few reps on the top power play unit, which again would imply he's getting close. Now, Travis Sanheim did also take reps on that top power play unit, so it doesn't seem like Andre's a certainty to return. He might not be ready for Saturday, but it does seem like he's close, as is York. So who comes out of the lineup? if York and or Andre can play? Well, uh, the obvious answer for the first guy is Eric Johnson. Johnson was signed to be the number seven. He's in because of injuries. He would easily give way for one of these two guys. But if both can come back, that's when things get a little more interesting. Now, probably the first player that comes to mind for a lot of fans is Yegor Zamula, and it's understandable. Zamula has been off to a relatively slow start. He struggled, to be short, this season. But over the last week or so, his play has improved a bit. He's been on the score sheet a lot more. And today, he was still on power play too, which would imply they expect him to be in the lineup tomorrow. Another option to give way, Helge Granz, who has impressed in his two-game call-up with the Flyers. However, he is the most recent call-up. He's the guy who would be the easiest to move out of the lineup. That said... John Tortorella did praise him after practice today, said he's really liked what he's seen from Gron, so it'll be difficult to bring him out of the lineup as well, given his solid play. Flyers, in short, have some pretty intriguing decisions on their hands, depending upon the statuses of York and Andre in particular. And then finally, a mildly concerning tidbit, Travis Konechny missed practice today. The Flyers were off on Thursday, so this is a maintenance day, and the Flyers did say the absence was a maintenance day, but this is a maintenance day coming after a full day off. Those are definitely a little eyebrow raising, and you add in the fact that Konechny did look like he got banged up a bit in the first period of Wednesday's game, you start to wonder Wonder, could Konechny be dealing with something and might it hinder his status for Saturday's game? Now, looking at the way they ran lines in practice today, the top line was Owen Tippett, Sean Couturier, and Anthony Richard. Richard presumably would be a guy, especially with Frost getting back in the lineup, who might give way for Travis Konechny. Sometimes they throw guys into a top line role as a stand in for an injured player. So Richard could just be that stand in and might just be in there because Konechny is expected to play on Saturday and just couldn't practice today. 
it's just a little concerning, and it's definitely something to keep an eye on because the Flyers are a team starved for offense. They haven't had a lot of their guys going, but Travis Konechny has been an exception. He's been over a point-per-game pace all year, and he's just been their most consistent offensive weapon, even more so than Mafe Mishkov. The Flyers cannot afford to be absent Travis Konechny for very long, even against a very relatively underwhelming opponent like the Chicago Blackhawks. I've been Charlie O'Connor with PHLY Sports, and these have been your Flyers post-practice notes. We all silly like the mayor.